Hey, welcome to the extras. I have a spare Windows 7 computer right here, the Lenovo ThinkPad X220. I backed it all up so that we can run sulfoxide. I ran this before on a computer that's like six times less powerful, the CPU at least, and it did not run that good. So today we're gonna to be running it again, sulfoxide. Yes. First warning. You have just executed a Trojan horse known as Sulfoxide. It will damage your system and the data on all storage devices connected irreversibly if you proceed. I am taking out my USB stick then. However, you can still exit it by pressing no on this message box and as there wasn't any damage done to the system yet. The creator of this Trojan horse at no point intended for Sulfoxide to be used maliciously and is not responsible for any software or hardware damages caused to this computer. Please only run it in the safe environment that you own, such as a virtual machine, for safe and entertainment purposes only. Are you sure that you want to execute Sulfoxide? Yes. Final warning. Same message. This is your last chance to deny execution of this malicious software. Are you absolutely sure that you want to execute Sulfoxide? Yes. Oh, here we go, we're starting with the payloads. This is already running better than that old Aspire computer. Oh, there's no disc. Oh, unsupported 16-bit application. Yeah, we get a lot of those errors when we were running when we we're running sulfoxide. I'm just spamming the volume button so that we get more glitches. I'm not pressing the mute button. Unsupported 16-bit application. More Not enough storage is available to process this command. Okay. Boot manager. Windows can open the file. Oh, and it's doing this notepad. It's doing the notepad payload. Oh, what is it doing? I just saw the Windows installer open. I think it's just opening random programs. Oh, it's opening a DLL. I think it's attempting to... Oh, okay. I think it's attempting to open literally every single file that it can find. Performing a lot better than the Aspire. And I found that it can be random every time you run it. With the payloads and whatnot. Well, it might just be me with my super underpowered computers. Focus camera. Oh, there we go. It focused. I can still move my mouse, albeit really slowly. Oh, no. Oh, 
Supermium cannot be start due to an incompatibility with 60 with 64 bit version of Windows. No, Supermium. What can it open? Not enough storage is available to process this command. Can you still click things? I'm turning up the volume. It's on 47, we need it to be back. That was not me, that was Sulfur Oxide. And this is the final payload. And this is where the CPU just crashed. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed me destroying Windows 7 with Sulfur Oxide. If you did, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next upload.